Hey everyone, BrickLover18 here today, and I am back with another episode of everyone's favorite LEGO series, Will These LEGO Boats Float? As you can see here today, I've got six awesome LEGO boats, ones that I've never tested out here on this channel before to see if they will float, and in this video, we're going to be putting them to the ultimate test, and we'll be seeing if they will float or not. Alright, stay tuned, and let's check these boats out. And of course, before I put these boats to the test, please don't forget to leave your predictions for which ones you think will float and will not float down in the comments below. All right, so the first boat we'll be testing today is not going to be the only pirate ship that we'll test in this video, but as you can see, it is this little pirate rowboat. It's a pretty small boat here. Only one or two minifigures can comfortably fit inside and let's put it to the ultimate test. My best educated guess is that this one is going to float pretty well, but let's wait and see. All right, so it looks like this one is a successful float. As you can see, the pirate ship here is staying quite nicely. It is all the way above water. Even when I give it a little push there, it's completely staying afloat. No water has been submerged. The minifigures look like they can sail off there nicely. And I would say this one is definitely a floating success. All right, the next boat that we will be testing today to see if it will float will be this Lego Scooby-Doo boat. As you can see, we've got Fred driving the boat with Scooby-Doo on the back and even Shaggy being pulled on the water skis. Let's test this one out and see if it floats. I have slightly less hope for this one, especially for Shaggy because I'm doing this with one hand and I already know he's gonna get in like that, but let me try and adjust him here as well, but I'll put the boat in nicely first. We'll give Shaggy a little bit of a fix, but yeah, so Shaggy right off the bat, as you can see, even though he didn't get put in right the first time, he is sinking and the boat, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna give this one a float. As you can see, Shaggy's underwater, which is fine, but you can easily not water ski. But as you can see, we've got Fred and Scooby in the actual boat. They look to be floating quite well. It's not submerged. It's not filling up with water. And it looks like it would be a pretty great little trip for them all. This next boat that we'll be testing today is the Lego City Fire Boat. This one I have full hopes that it can float because it specifically it looks like it's designed to float and to be played with, you know, in the pool, in the tub, stuff like that. But we'll have to see if this fire boat really does live up to my expectations. We'll set it in gently there. As you can see, this one is the best floating Lego boat yet. It fully stays above water. Absolutely no water sneaking in or becoming submerged. It is perfect and it is true, this boat really is designed to float and I'm glad I was able to test this out and confirm that that is indeed the case. All right, so this next boat here is one that I'm super excited about because this is the first time I've ever tested out a Lego Technic boat here on the Will It Float series. As you can see, this one is the Lego Technic Hovercraft, one of my very first Technic sets I ever built, and like I said, the first Technic boat I'll ever test out. I have absolutely no clue if this one will float or not, but on the bright side, because it is Technic, no Lego minifigures will be harmed in the making of this video. So let's put the Technic boat in and he, we will see oh yeah this one is definitely not a floater this is a sinker this is the first boat that i have tested out today that is a sinker but as you can see as soon as i put it in it just completely became submerged with water there's no way to get around that if there were any minifigures in this boat they would have uh they would have gone under for sure barely any parts of this boat are still afloat as you can see most of it is underwater and yes this one is unfortunately a sinker Yes. 
This next one here is one I'm super excited to test out. It is the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Pirate Ship. And yes, this one is actually a pirate ship, unlike the Ninjago ship from a few years ago that I accidentally called a pirate ship. This one I'm really, really excited about. I have absolutely no clue if it's gonna float or not. I feel like I have a little bit of hope for this one because it's so big, but at the same time, because it's so big, I'm a little afraid and a little concerned. But the only way to actually tell and see if these pirates will be able to float and continue stealing treasure is to test it out. I'm gonna set it in nice and gently there. Oh man. As you can see right off the bat, this boat completely submerged with water. I sent it in nice and gently. And as you'll be able to see on the sides, there are some holes in the, where the pirates can look out. And unfortunately those immediately filled with water and the pirate ship immediately collapsed and went under. As you can see, it's completely filled with water here. We'll give it one more chance to see. Maybe I just put it in wrong the first time. Yep, and I think that time it even capsized faster than the last time. So unfortunately, this one is a sink. The pirate ship will not be setting sail and stealing the treasure very much because it cannot stay afloat. All right, so the final ship that we will be putting to the test today is the Lego Monkey Kid cargo ship. This one's so cool because not only is it a cargo ship with cargo containers, it's also got a full secret layer on the inside. Because it's a secret, I'm not gonna show you what the inside looks, but as you can see, this is the exterior. It is an absolutely massive ship. This was a really fun build, but of course, it's not a very good ship if it doesn't float in water. So. We're gonna test this one out. I hope it floats because there sure are a lot of stickers on it. All right, I've got the cargo ship here. It is such a massive set. It's a huge beast to try and lower into the water carefully. Oh, 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 and unfortunately this one is a sink as well. I tried to lower it in nice and gently just because I wanted to really give this one a chance. But as you can see, it immediately capsized. It's pretty heavy from the top especially, and it immediately went under and is currently still filling with water. I bet the inside of the ship is also filled, the secret lair and all the computers they had in there will probably be ruined now. But as you can see, this one definitely went right under. Unfortunately, it could not stand up for very long. And this one is a sink. All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking out my fifth ever Will These Lego Boats Float video. I had so much fun testing out these boats today, and I was really excited to see so many floaters from the start. But then, as you saw when we went through the video, all of the bigger ones, unfortunately, are not floaters, and they all capsized and sank. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below which boats you'd like to see me test out next. I've got so many great videos in store for you, so many more boats to test out, and I can't wait to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see you here on Brick Liver 18 in the next video.